Today is the 2nd of November 2023 and I would like us to look again at constructing a triangle. Here we'll be given two sides and one angle. Okay. Yesterday we were given two angles and one side. Today we have we have two known sides and one angle okay that is the information we have um thank you to everyone who has been watching um, our videos thank you so much please if you haven't subscribed and you are not following us already um, please consider doing that okay subscribe follow us depending on which platform you are watching from and then with the videos please like and share them okay don't keep it to yourself somebody will be out there um, needing help for receipts um, and there may be a young out a adult out there who wants to go back into education so please and uh, who hasn't got their mass okay so please um, like it and share as well don't keep it to yourself uh, thank you very much and please ask for permission okay now beware of scammers they are everywhere okay they do it through email the internet is a big place now they do it through email they do it through anything they go on people's platform pretend like they are the uh, one doing the video and they start soliciting for money if I have something to say about money, anything I have to say, it will be in the video. So if you haven't heard it, please um, don't fall for it. And if you've been watching my video for long, you know how I sound. So even if it's been edited and somebody adds somebody something to it, um, you can find out don't uh, don't uh, fall for these people and please if you are a scammer can you stop um, harassing people please thank you very much now recap last lesson uh, you can watch last video um, the last video we just did um, for recap but what we did we, is um, we, cons we are constructing triangles okay and last lesson we looked only at um, assuming assuming you've been given um, two angles and one side how do you do that okay so I'm going to quickly go through an example of that and then we'll see what we'll do today. So construct a triangle with 5 cm length and angles 121 and 17 degrees. Okay, yesterday I said to you I would normally start from the bigger angle okay because it's easier to do that and then if you see the direction of the line then you construct the second one in that direction to meet it now i know that i have um five centimeters okay here so first of all i'm going to use a ruler okay 
I'm just talking through what um, we did yesterday. So I'm going to use a ruler and measure five centimeters, okay? So here is my ruler. And then um, if I zoom in from point A to B, that is five centimeters, okay? Um, then I'm going to use a protractor and measure the angle I've given, the first angle, using the, this point here as my reference. And I'm going to use the bigger angle first. Okay. So I come here. I need 121 degrees. Okay. So that's my reference. So as you can see, exactly 121 degrees. If you start from here, you are going to get 180. You have two scales, so you start from zero. So 10, that is 100, 110, 120, and then 121. That is the point of reference that I've put a dot there. So I'm going to draw a line from A to connect the reference and that will be my 121 degrees. Okay, this is what we did yesterday. Now, we've been given a second angle, 17 degrees. So I come to B now. and do 17 degrees. Okay, now if you measure from here, you are going to get 17 degrees here, but that is actually, um, hundred and um, sixty plus okay hundred and sixty three so you want to go in that direction so you have to use this outer skill here so as you can see again that is 15 16 and 17 that is my reference point So from the reference point B, I have drawn um, 17 degrees. Now with B as my reference point, I'm going to draw a line to join this and extend it. Where these two lines meet is my, uh, is my reference point C, and that will be my triangle. So you can rub this off if you have time. But even if you've left your um, diagram of this and label it A, B, and C, and say your triangle A, B, and C, they, can, they will give you the marks, okay? But if you have time, you can just rub this off because you've just extended it to make sure because if it is a bigger angle this line would have gone a bit further so this is what we did um, yesterday we know two angles we know one line okay and I said to you this is how 
um, they did use angle formulas and they know that three angles in a triangle will be 180 degrees. So this is 121, this is 17. If you measure the third angle, you should get 42. In an exam, they can ask you to measure. So let's try it and see. I did measure. Okay. If you get maybe 41 or 42, they might give you the answer because they will also measure it to see if um, you are actually putting the right marks, okay, the right measurements, and then you have just not calculated it on top of your head. So if you can see, yeah, so that is the angle at um, C, and that is my line. So if I go from 10, 20, 30, it moved a little bit. You can see it from there. Okay. In construction work, even the little movement is very important because a slight movement by a point one can give you the wrong angle. Okay. So again, it's moved again. So you have to try and be accurate as possible. That's why if you have a protractor and you are used to working with it, it's good because if you get one from the exam room, it might be, and then um, I don't like distractions a lot. So if there are people around you in the exam room, um, can I have a protractor? It's like, they forgot they had exams, okay? Get your own mindset and ignore such people because um, if you keep on passing this around, you might get into trouble or things like this that you can get easy marks from it. They are just going to distract you. So if I zoom in a little bit, considering this a uh, slight movement, you are going to get 42 because I measured it um, earlier on today. Okay. Um, so it's 42. Again, the three angles should add up to 180. Sorry. Should add up to 180. Okay. So this is 42. So the angle at this point C who you see as a reference, okay, is 42 degrees. They can ask you, as I said, to measure it from your diagram and write it down. In that case, the examiner is also going to measure it and make sure that what you wrote down is accurate and that you are just not using head knowledge to put down that. And they are going to measure it and make sure that uh, you've done it properly. Okay. Now, today's starter. Okay. Um, a bag contains four clementines, three lemons, and three plums. Okay. If they're in the bag, you cannot see inside the bag. Okay. So, all you can do is to pick. Now, Clementines and lemons and plum, they can be of the same size. So you cannot at times cheat. Here they are asking you to dip your hand in the bag, a big one. We've done a lot of this. Okay. Now the question is what is the probability of picking a clementine? Okay. So, you have four things, four fruits in the bag, and they're asking you, how are you going to, and what is the probability of picking the clementine? Go back to the probability videos if you've forgotten, 
okay, because this is a starter. It's just to remind you, go back and watch all the probability videos we've done if you are struggling with the topic, okay? Now, probability of picking a clementine. There are four clementines, okay? Now, you have a total of uh, four clementines, three lemons, and three plums, which is ten fruits in a bag. So, your denominator is ten. Now, there are four clementines. So your numerator is 4. If you reduce it further, you are going to get 2 out of 5. So that's the probability of picking a clementine. Okay. Go back and watch the video. We did mutually exclusive uh, events and stuff. We use it to solve some interesting questions. Okay go back and watch it today okay we are still constructing triangles okay yesterday we were given two angles and one known side today we've been given one side we've been given two sides and one angle okay how do you do that? I'm going to talk you through it and I'm going to do it and show you, okay? So first of all, you draw um, um, Okay, let me do the example with you first and I'll talk you through it, okay? So construct I have this as I'm construct a triangle with sides four centimeters and seven centimeters and angle fifty five degrees between them. Okay. So now you have um, to construct a triangle. So what do you do? You need your ruler, okay? I normally say that I'll construct um, the longer line first, okay? So my first one is seven centimeters. So this is what I did. So I took cut a ruler. And then there, that is seven centimeters, okay. A is on the zero mark, B is on um, seven centimeters. So I join these two lines together, okay. You can see that. Now with my protractor, I'm going to construct 55 degrees um, from A. So I have my protractor here. A be my reference point, okay? So, oh my, again, you have to scale. That is from 180. I need 55 degrees. So that is about 55 degrees. Okay. So there, I put the reference point there. Okay. Now, I have another line to construct four centimeters. Even though my reference point is at C here, I have to construct four centimeters from A to make an angle 55. Now, you can decide to use zero to four, but I realized that if I do zero to four, 
it is not quite at the reference point and I don't want to so what I did is I did one to five which is so four centimeters that I've been asked to draw okay now one to five there is four centimeters but it will help me connect to see here the 55 so with that I drew my line four centimeters here there so four centimeters bit here okay but this is 55 degrees now from B okay I connect B to that point here where the four centimeters meet I've got my triangle again if you measure the angle correctly so this is how things like Pythagoras theorem all the angle formulas that we use that maybe some of the uh, additional math students use or the higher this is how it was deduced because somebody has sat down, done it over and over again, and realized that there is a pattern, okay? So now you, you've been given 55 degrees. If you measure the angle as C correctly, it is 91 degrees, okay? So let's check. So I'm just going to swap around with my protractor. So let's look at the angle as C. So C being the reference point, and I'll put it correctly, okay? It's not right angles, so if you look at it, is at 91 degrees as you can see it's 91 degrees now okay so it's no right angle again if you correctly look, uh, measure the angle at B it is 34 degrees So, you see. between 34 and 33 degrees, okay. So that is the line here, the angle at B there, that is 35. So that is about 34, a little above between 34 and 33. So I wrote 34, 91 and 55. Again, if you add these ang three angles, it adds up to um, 180. Now, if you measure B from C, okay, and remember, if maybe it's 34 degrees or 33 degrees, and you write 34, as long as you did it right, they might give you the max. Okay. So that is about 5.8, if you can see. From the zero mark, that is 5.5, .5, that is 6, so 5.8 nine and six so it's about 5.8 centimeters so that is 5.8 centimeters from b to c 
okay so this is what we've been do we are doing today you are giving two sides and one um angle so what i guess the truth to you i'm just going to talk you through okay first you draw the line normally i would draw the longer line okay like yesterday i'll draw the bigger angle first and then draw the smaller one it depends on how you do it whichever angle you choose you still get um the triangle but um it is better when you do it often you realize that it is easier one way than the other so draw the length seven centimeters uh, a b with a ruler draw the angle 55 degrees using a as a reference point that point so we draw the line use a as our reference point F draw measure 55 degrees using the protractor draw exactly four centimeters line to the angle 55 degrees so when i use the protractor that is my 55 degrees okay now because this size should be four centimeters i started from one and ended at five which i showed you in the video so now from this point to that point is four centimeters that will be my c so from this point i connect it to b so i'll draw a line 55 degrees with a protractor from a at the end of four centimeters draw a line to reference point b so that is my angle if you've been asked to measure like i did you measure it okay they might ask you to give the measurement of c so you need your protractor again to find the angle or they might ask you to find the length of bc which is 5.8 centimeters normally normally they might say um, between 90 and um, 5.7 and 5.9 okay that might they might give a little range to allow uh, a few uh, tricks here and there for giving the full marks but if the answer is 5.8 and you got like 6.3 you are far from the answer so you might not get anything okay now a second example the same thing construct a triangle with size 5.5 centimeters and 6.2 centimeters with angle 38 degrees look at the numbers 5.5 38 degrees okay these questions normally come in the non-calculator paper so you don't need a calculator to do this all you need is a ruler and a protractor okay so normally i would do the f a 5.5 centimeters but here i started with the um um i'll do the 6.2 centimeters but here i started with the 5.5 um, centimeters so 5.5 centimeters here So you can see there that is my 5.5 .5 centimeters from the zero mark to 5.5 .5 centimeters there there and I referenced it A and B now from my A 
I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my protractor to find that to measure 38 degrees. So again, I have my protractor there. I have my protractor there. So 38 degrees, that is 30, that is 40. So to, um, strokes down 38. So that is my reference point. Now the second line is 6.2 centimeters. So um, 6.2 centimeters from reference um, A Okay, so from zero here, that is 6.2 exactly. If you can see, that is zero, and that is 6.2 here. It's moved slightly. Okay, there, 6.2 here, point one, point two. So I'll put the dot there. So now I've got my angle. I've got my two sides. So I connect C to B. Okay. If you measure the angle at B and C, you should get 62 at C there and 80 degrees. 62 degrees at C and 80 degrees at B there. This line BC, when I measured, it is um, 38, 3.8 centimeters, okay? So that is my diagram for the example we just did. I'll quickly do a last example with you. Okay, now we are constructing again a triangle. We are constructing again a triangle with sides 7.4 centimeters and 8.7 centimeters with angle 101. Now, this is why you normally do the longer line or the lo a bigger angle first. Because if I had done 8.7, it would have gone that way. And the 7.4 would it have gone in there. Okay. But I wanted to show you. Okay. So I did uh, show you why. So I did the 7.4 phase. I still got the triangle, but now it's gone a bit up. Okay, but assuming I've done the longer, assuming I had done the longer line phase, then it would have been a lot easier. Okay, then the, the tr triangle would have be a bit lower but i still got it it in the end so 7.4 centimeters so i measured 7.4 centimeters first with my ruler so there you can see 7.4 then with the protractor 
Okay, I measured 101 degrees, which is what I've been given there, that one. So 101 degrees from reference point A. Okay, so that is uh, from zero all the way to 101. Please, it's 101. I did measure 101. Okay, and that is my reference point, 101. Okay, you might say it's a, like 103, but um, if I do it without, um, with two hands, it's 101. I guess I have to adjust it a bit. Now, so this was my reference point with my 101. Then from A, I measured up 8.7. So with my ruler, with 101, okay, I measured 8.7 from A. Again, you can see 8.7 there, okay. You can go and try it at home. It's easy to do. 8.7. So that is my C. I draw a line from C to B. Again, they can just ask you to draw. But they can also ask you to draw and measure the two angles. When I measure the angle like B, I got um, 40 degrees. Um, the angle at C, there, that angle here, C, um, gave me 34 degrees with this diagram. And then the length from B to C with the ruler gave me 12.7 centimeters there. So this is how some of the triangles a formula I like Pythagoras um, a squared plus b squared um, equals plus uh, 2 and um, all these things to find the length okay which we normally use in additional mathematics I don't want to bother people I'm um, doing the foundation paper okay but actually this is what you just proved Okay, so they've done it over and over again, and then they realize that a certain pattern has developed. And then they use that pattern to, um, to create formulas, which are standard formulas that we use. So, so the formulas that we normally use are not just things that somebody just came up with. Somebody has sat down, done things over like in a quadrilateral, in a triangle, in a square. They've done these diagrams over and over again. And they realize that, oh, there's a pattern. And then they create that, use that pattern, use it a formula, uh, use uh, it as a standard formula. Okay, so like yesterday, when we say three angles in a triangle is 180, that was what we did yesterday. We did it with three examples, and we've proved it over and over again. So you can confidently use it, knowing that it's true, okay? Um, so that's what we've basically done today. We did a recap, a recap of what we did yesterday, giving two um, angles and the side, okay? And then we went on to look at the starter on probability. And then today, we are basically looking at um, um, doing uh, a triangle 
with two sides and one angle okay thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next